So what I'll do is that I'll uh, create a new project today for today's training day two, right? And I will configure Selenium into it, right? I will right click on the project, go to the properties, fine, and go to the Java build path and add the external jars of Selenium, right? So these jars were downloaded from the Selenium HQ website. Okay, so this uh, day two project is now Selenium enabled. Now, what we can do is that we can start working with Selenium. Yesterday, I told you that there are objects. You can create objects, right? I cre I had created this class school and in uh, basics.java, I had created the objects of the school class and I had uh, initialized the objects with some values. Right, yeah, uh, Yogi, you can tell me what question you have. Okay, I got you. E sometimes, instead of creating the reference library section, all the jars they come up over here. Okay, so in the Eclipse, you ha you have to have. In you have to be in the Java perspective. Okay, click on this icon. Okay, when you click on this icon and you'll get the Java perspective, you just move to Java perspective. Then you will have the reference. Otherwise, it doesn't actually matter. You can have that way as well. Right. So, uh, now, um, we need to know how you can create objects in Selenium. Right. In Selenium, what happens is, if I go to the official website of Selenium, which is seleniumhq.org and if I go to the download section fine and you will have the Java language uh, downloads and the Java documentation which I talked about at yes which I talked about yesterday now there are various driver classes in selenium right I will just show you in just a minute these are all the driver classes. Yeah, Naina, what is your question? Fine. I think, uh, Naina, you are not an audio conference. Right. So, uh, I hope you are able to hear me very clearly. If you are not able to hear me clearly, please let me know. Okay. Right. So, over here, we have got various driver classes for example the, as the name suggests chrome driver it is used for working with chrome okay edge driver is for microsoft edge event firing driver okay i will just uh, it, it's basically about uh, this driver helps you to perform some complicated user actions like moving mouse and all but we don't use it that much we use something else i'll talk about it later on right and uh, firefox driver it's obviously as the name suggests uh, it's uh, it helps you work on Firefox HTML unit driver I'll just tell you in to today's class what it does just be with me HTML unit right then you have I driver Internet Explorer driver right so uh, obviously it helps you work in internet and there are other drivers like Safari Opera and all look Safari driver Opera driver these are not stable Selenium does not work very good with uh, Opera or Safari. There are lots of issues. Okay, right. Remote web driver is used for working with grid. When we work with Selenium grid, we will use the remote web driver. So let's start working on some commonly used driver classes. Like I used Firefox driver class yesterday. Okay, so over here, if I make a new class known as drivers underscore selenium right then firefox driver is the driver for firefox okay when i create the object of this class right and run the program as i told you yesterday the firefox browser it opens up right you see that similarly similarly from the documentation right 
chrome driver is the driver for chrome okay so if i create the object of chrome driver cd equals to new chrome driver then this will open up chrome right so if i run this program right it will give me an error it will not open chrome directly some illegal state exception everybody will get this error okay what you need to do is there are few there is a exe file for chrome driver to make chrome driver run you need to download that exe from the selenium website okay uh, just uh, go to seleniumhq.org and go to the download section and scroll down you will find third party dri drivers bindings and plugins over here right uh, not developed by selenium hq right go to google chrome driver the first one okay and click on this link basically you will go to this url from here download the zip file for your os if you have a windows 64 bit machine you can download this 32 bit one it will work right okay so um, hold on uh, just a minute so i have downloaded it on my machine f drive um, yeah this is chrome driver dot exe okay i have this uh, chrome driver dot exe on my machine right so what you can do is um, you don't need to run it you'll achieve nothing you don't need to run it and this is not the exe for chrome it's exe for chrome driver which we use okay there is no need to run it what you need to do is that before opening chrome you need to set a system property you need to write system dot set property okay web driver dot chrome dot driver to the path of chrome driver exe f drive chrome driver dot exe okay right uh, make sure everything is in the lower case fine many times i have seen people making a mistake they keep w in capital or something java is a case sensitive language okay so you have to be careful system dot set property and you give this path and that's it when you run the program right web driver dot chrome okay i gave this spelling mistake exe yeah when you run it you will see that a chrome driver yeah the chrome driver works and this uh, blank firefox window opens up right okay so hold on my mouse hanged a little bit right so uh, uh, over here let's talk about the other driver which is internet okay i want to type internet explorer driver but the word is very long so you just can type in uh, selenium right in selenium you can like the word is very long internet explorer driver so what you can do you can type internet and hit the control space bar of keyboard and all the classes right uh, coming up with internet word they will come up in the list and probably you can select it from here uh, so over here internet explorer driver yeah this is the one okay internet explorer driver ie equals to new 
internet explorer driver you can create the object of this class fine and again this will give you an error this will not work directly okay chrome will open but i <coughs> i'm sorry will give you an error for again for i you need to download an exe from the selenium website okay so uh, if you go here on the selenium website go to the download section and over here you will have internet explorer driver server you download it for 32 bit i or 64 bit i it's not your os but the bits in your i internet explorer whether you have got 32 bit i or 64 bit right i already have it on my pc right this is i driver server don't run it you will not achieve anything by running it right all you can write is you can write system dot set property again hold on before launching i system dot set property right web driver dot i dot driver instead of chrome and give the path of i driver exe f drive like i have my exe over here i driver server dot exe you have to be very careful about the upper and the lower case right and again if you run it i will open you see that but it's not so simple okay it's not so simple uh, many times you will get error while opening i again look firstly make sure that in i the zoom level is set to 100 percent right at times it will give you error if i set it to say in my case if i set it to 150 percent right and if i run this program in my case it works but many times this gives issues to people right okay and many times if you are not the admin of your pc i gives issues okay so you see that i got some error over here just a minute yeah you see that browser room zoom level was not set i got the error yes okay so you have to be very careful fine okay now there are other drivers for example you have got a remote web driver this is used for selenium grid okay then you have got html unit driver it can test your website without opening browser i will talk about it right i, I will tell you just to be with me right so there are various uh, driver classes okay chrome driver uh, safari driver and opera driver are not stable they don't work there is no point working with them okay you cannot manage pop-ups and there are lots of other issues right so now uh, how do you work with these drivers will i have to learn the features and the functions in every driver separately because as i told you, you like firefox driver is one class it will have its own functions chrome driver is one class it will have its own functions and i internet explorer driver is one class with its own function so will i have to learn this separately the answer to this is no you don't need to learn all the drivers separately okay right because there is a concept known as concept of interface in java so now what we need to do study is we need to study java and i'll explain you how interface helps us in selenium web driver okay what are interfaces okay right right so what is an interface okay interface is something which describes what the system is offering you for example your mobile phone okay when you open your mobile phone right suppose it's an android phone the interface gives you the interface of the phone gives you the options to call to probably use some application like whatsapp right but how that actually works inside you don't know 
or for example if you go to a restaurant to have your dinner right you look at the a la carte menu and you decide what you will be eating fine you find something which is familiar to you and you probably order that but you really don't know how it's going to be actually uh, in the end whether it will be uh, what you are expecting or not right so this is what interface is interface describes what a system does fine so what we can do in java you have got interfaces right we can uh, create a new interface right uh, suppose i create an interface like um say machine fine okay or an interface a simple example car interface okay in in the interface it's not a class it's an interface in the interface you just have method declarations for example public void start public void stop these are the two function declarations that what car is offering car is something which can start and which can stop okay right there will be no method bodies if a look layman looks at the car interface he will be able to judge what car is actually offering you fine and similarly you can create a new class right suppose i create a new class known as uh, honda honda is a car right so what we do in selenium we write like this honda implements car so this class honda it is implementing the car interface so it becomes mandatory for this class to implement all the functions inside the car interface okay so in the honda car in in the honda class car uh, in the, in this class you will have to implement all the functions of the car interface it's mandatory that's why you are getting an error the error says that the type honda must implemented the inherited methods right so you move the mouse over the error and select this option add unimplemented methods you will have all the methods coming up start and stop you can type inside it honda starting and honda stopping this side at the rate override means that these two functions are coming from the car interface okay right similarly suppose i can make a new class right i will uh, call it as say hyundai okay right this class this car class can also implement the car interface you write it like this again you will be forced to add the unimplemented methods because if an interface is implementing a class it has to get all the functions right and in this you can write hyundai starting and hyundai stopping right but what did i achieve out of this why did i do this what i did was i created an interface an interface known as car and i created two classes right honda and hyundai these two classes were implementing the car interface okay so whatever functions were there in this interface car were there in these two classes 
probably hyundai can implement in its own way and honda can implement in its own way but what is the advantage of this i could had not made the car interface i could have directly made these two classes with the two functions start and stop right what did i achieve out of this look what i achieved was i what i achieved is firstly there is a kind of discipline in the system if a new car comes up tomorrow fine then that car will also have to implement the interface right and just by looking at the car interface you can easily judge that what all will be present in the classes like honda and hyundai or some other class which will be implementing this class okay just by looking at the interface you will come to know what the cars are doing maybe honda car implements the start function in its own way and hyundai would implement in its own way but the function is there in all the classes implementing the interface fine so interface is something which uh, has some functions and the classes implementing that interface have those functions right so in selenium coming over to selenium right everybody has heard the word web driver okay in this documentation right hold on whatever is there in italics these are all the classes the classes which are there in italics right these are interfaces okay for example there are so many of them you don't need to memorize all of them okay nobody can do that right for example you have a class or interface known as mouse it's written in italics this is the interface mouse it's got functions like click context click double click okay all the mouse related functions and these are the implementing classes these three classes they implement the mouse interface and probably these three classes they tell you how to do the mouse movements with selenium okay or if you scroll down more you will see that there is something known as web driver written over here web driver is an interface everybody has heard the word web driver okay web driver is an interface and these are the implementing classes chrome driver edge driver okay all the driver classes which we studied i driver firefox driver chrome driver html unit everything every class is implementing this interface and this interface has got functions which can help you to interact with the browser for example a function like close will close the browser a function like find element will go and find something on the browser okay a function like get title will give you the title right quit will close the browser fine so this interface web driver has got functions which will help you to interact with the browser and all these classes would have those same functions for example a function like get get function loads a new web page in the current browser right so the get function would be there in all these drivers okay if i open firefox driver or chrome driver or i driver okay the functions in all the drivers would be the same like firefox driver dot get go to the url http yahoo dot com similarly chrome driver dot get you can take chrome to yahoo dot com and i driver dot get you can take i to yahoo dot com right okay so you have got various driver classes these driver classes firefox driver chrome driver or i driver 
ओके दे हेल्प यू टू इंप्लीमेंट द टेस्ट ऑन अ सर्टन ब्राउजर एंड ऑल दीज क्लासेस हैव द सेम सेट ऑफ फंक्शन If I have to close the Firefox driver, then I have to write Firefox driver dot quit, and then Chrome driver dot quit, then I driver dot quit. So you will see that serially when I run it, first Firefox will open. Hold on, it it goes to Yahoo dot com. and closes and then chrome driver it opens chrome right it it will close chrome now and then i driver it opens i again it do takes you to yahoo and it will cl close yahoo so the functions are same okay but this doesn't end our problems right this doesn't end our problems now suppose i have a case like this i hope you understood till now if anybody has got any questions you can ask me fine now suppose i have a case like this i create a new class known as say browsers dot java <coughs> i'm sorry <coughs> suppose you have a requirement that your test should run in all the three browsers depending on what input you give for example this is suppose my variable browser and it's equated to mozilla right now i can equate it to chrome i can equate it to i i can equate it to mozilla right now depending on what the value of this variable is i want to carry out my tests on that particular browser if it is mozilla then only firefox should open and test the website if it is i then only i right so how will you do that can anybody tell me what kind of code should i write over here yeah so the yeah so the general general logic says that you can use if statement you can write over here if the browser is equal to mozilla then probably i'll open firefox browser okay else if the browser is equal to chrome right then i'll open my chrome driver and else if the browser is open to you can use case statement anything i then i'll open i driver okay i'll copy my code from here firefox driver and then chrome driver okay i'll initialize the exe in the beginning of the program itself right and internet explorer driver but will this really help how will this help me this is the reference for firefox driver this is the reference for chrome driver this is the reference for i driver okay now if i have to test on firefox driver then i'll have to write the code inside the if statement say firefox driver dot get go to the site http say gmail dot com fine suppose you have to go and test gmail so gmail dot com and when you are on the website get me the title of the page should I write the same kind of code for a Chrome driver as well that Chrome driver dot get Chrome driver dot get and similarly should I write the same kind of code for i driver as well or we can use the same variable chosen and use that variable now how do i use the same variable we cannot do that i cannot write fd equals to new chrome driver the variables have the reference this is the reference of firefox driver 
this is the reference of chrome driver we cannot have the same reference for both the drivers so again yeah I'll just answer that again we are stuck we cannot just do like this because we can't just write the code separately for each browser this doesn't make any sense right so what we do again the concept of interfaces they help us let's go back to our interface car it had two functions and both the classes like Honda and Hyundai were implementing these functions if I create a new class over here okay I'll just uh, name it testing okay and over here if I create the object of Honda h1 equals to new Honda right and I create the object of Hyundai H2 equals to new Hyundai okay with H1 I can call the functions like start and stop very common okay H2 can also call its own start and stop so this will be from Honda and this will be from Hyundai right so when I run it it will print Honda starting, Honda stopping and Hyundai starting, Hyundai stopping. Simple. Okay, nothing great about it. Now, if I go to the, say, Honda class, now Honda says that, fine, I implement the inter functions from the in car interface, but I want to implement some of my own functions as well. Right. For example, a function like public void uh, GPS I'm offering GPS as an additional feature okay which is not there in Hyundai class so I can access this GPS function obviously I can access it from the Honda class but I cannot access it from Hyundai this is bit common sense right you can understand this now now the things get a little complicated listen to this carefully right because people they get confused here now I'm going to create the object of the interface okay I write over here interface uh, say car C equals to new car it will give me an error I cannot create the object of an interface in Java it is illegal okay car class cannot be car interface cannot be interf initialized look what will you get after initializing your car interface create the object of interface is something which is not complete it's just got the declarations so it's not logical to create the object of an interface that's why you cannot do it but surely you can create a reference of an interface this part is not giving me an error the left hand part is not giving me an error the right hand part is giving me the error so you cannot create the object of interface but you can create the reference and you can write like this car c equals to new Honda now what is this I am equating the reference to the class which is implementing the interface okay so what I am doing I am equating the reference to the class I am sorry guys class which is implementing the interface okay right so how is it different how is this line different from this line the difference is with C I can access the functions which are coming from the interface in the car class in the Honda class but not the functions like GPS this will give me an error 
with C I can only access the functions in the Honda class which are coming from the interface car not the proprietary functions of the Honda class which it has additionally given but what is the advantage then I am able to access lesser number of functions okay I, can, I, I am limited I am limited to the functions which are coming from the interface I am I cannot access the local functions or the proprietary functions of that particular class then why do we use this okay what is the advantage the advantage is right I'll comment it I can also write over here say car C1 equals to new Hyundai so with the C1 I can access start and stop functions of the Hyundai class but if I want like for example if I write over here c1 dot start okay let me give a demarcation line over here right so when I run this this will print Hyundai starting okay but if I write over here c1 equals to new Honda now so what I have done is I have made c1 point towards the Honda class because I can make C point towards the reference I can point make it point towards any one right I can make it point towards uh, object of Hyundai or you can make it point towards object of Honda class anything right and if I write on the next line C1 equals to or C1 dot start this will print Honda starting so one reference the reference of the interface I can make it point towards any object of my choice for example I can declare over here car x equals to null based on my choice I can make it point towards new Hyundai or I can make it point towards new Honda when it is pointing towards Hyundai you can call the functions from Hyundai and from when it's pointing towards Honda you can call the functions from Honda now, uh, can C1 call, uh, call the function, I mean, use C, uh, GPS function from Honda? no you cannot call the proprietary functions of the class with the reference of the interface you can only call the functions which are there in the class coming from the interface I cannot write you will not get the option of GPS here okay it it will simply throw an error now similarly as I told you in selenium web driver is an interface we saw that right it's written over here in the documentation that web driver is an interface and all these classes they are implementing this interface web driver so all of them have the same functions right coming up from the web driver interface and I can create the object like this say web driver say uh, w equals to new Firefox driver this with this I can access the functions in Firefox driver which are coming from the web driver interface or if I want I can make this W on the next line point towards new Chrome driver as well or I can make this W point towards new Internet Explorer driver as well it's my choice okay because all these driver classes they are pre point they are implementing the web driver interface so as I told you everything is inbuilt you need to understand the inbuilt features okay and you, that's why object oriented programming is important interfaces it comes under oops object oriented programming fine now coming over to our problem where we had this issue so I will remove all these things you don't need this 
you don't need to write the code like this you can simply declare web driver reference on the top say driver to null if the browser is mozilla then equate driver to new firefox driver otherwise equate the driver to new chrome driver otherwise equate the driver to new internet explorer driver any questions yeah yeah Yeah. Class. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We have made a reference which can point towards any driver. And after the browser is open, the functions are common in all the drivers. So if you are right over here, driver dot get to the URL HTTP gmail.com and then print the title okay so it will open that particular driver class right take it to the website gmail.com and print the title the functions get title get quit all these functions which I talked about these are common functions in all the driver classes because all the drivers are implementing the web driver interface so interface has got two important things as far as selenium is concerned there are two usages first of all all our driver classes have the same set of functions secondly we can dynamically open the browser by single instance or single reference right if I run this now only Mozilla will open right it will take you to gmail right and it's printing the title of the page as well if I change it to chrome then only chrome will open it will take you to gmail and it will print the title right okay now uh, later on we will put this parameter in the excel file and all and we can read it from the excel file right now going ahead moving ahead from here there is one more driver okay known as HTML unit driver all right uh, I'll just call it unit over here make this parameter equal to HTML unit okay just a minute I'll explain you what HTML unit driver does uh, this one it can test your website silently without opening the website you can test it okay if I run this you will see no browser opening up nothing happening but immediately the output comes up as the title of the page is Gmail this driver sends a silent request to the server and gets the response and works on the response no it's quite fast sometimes you are working on unix console where you have you don't have a user interface it's all console right you use html unit driver over there okay right now uh, you, you you know uh, no no not service calls Brani this web service testing is, is very different okay when you need to test it quite fast you can use HTML unit driver it, it acts very very fast okay look what is a response from the server okay yeah HTTP request is used okay wh what is a response from a server look ev 
this is the response the page source which you see on a web page this is the actual response from the server the page source remains the same across all the browsers that look you you can't expect that every website will have a different page source for different browsers selenium works on the page source okay that's why it can work on all the browsers and page source remains the same right so html unit browser dr driver it doesn't open the browser but it works on the page source again right you will get to know this it will be clear right as we proceed with the course things will be clear right so uh